Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saiful and you are watching Seven Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So today I am going to share a story of my first NCR in this video. How I get NCR, how I close that NCR. For to start the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, share it with your friend, comment your suggestion and question in the comment section. If you want to contact me, so you can contact me through my social accounts, LinkedIn, or Facebook and Instagram links are available in the video description and also in about section of the channel So guys How I received my first NCR and what was the reason? As you know that when we are going to Cast concrete for column beam or slab you have to make the inspection for the steel and steel is a hold point as for ITP so I submit WR for the steel and there were some small comments in the steel when consultant come he checked the steel there was some comment from his side and he instruct us to fix the comment and record him. So we fix the comments and the concrete mixture and from arrived at side and I call him he told me say no problem if you fix the comment you can start the concrete. So when we start the concrete, after 10 minutes he can say stop the concrete and tomorrow I will come to witness the slump test, temperature checking and you will continue the concrete. But at that time we already started the concrete and we cannot stop the concrete because if we stop the concrete so there will be cold joints over. So we continue the concrete, we complete the slab casting as per quality standards. We take slab, we did the slump test check the temperature and take cylinders for the uh, compressive strength after 28 days and 24 days so next day he issued an NCR that we cause the concrete without consultant approval then how I close that NCR what was the recommendation from his side to close the NCR so for to check to see that NCR and closer of that NCR I will take you my to my laptop screen so let's go to the laptop screen to continue the video but don't skip any part of the video to get full information so dear friends on the screen you can see the ncr now confirm this report so details during daily site surveys we found that contractor car had costed the slab and beams at terminal to entrance without approval or consent from the consultant that include below related document shop drawing code c WIR, WIR, WIR. these are some wr for steel which was under review with him and he uh, verbally give us permission for the casting of concrete but unfortunately i don't know what's happened and he reject an issue in ncr then he suggests to test contractor shall uh, comply with the kks standard uh, contract requirement also sh shall submit his corrective action and within 72 hours which will include but not limited the following compressive strength testing core cutter test te terminal testing he proposed these two testing to complete it in 72 hours and this was some reference the documents reference from his side to ensure ncr so after that i uh, submit my response so close out for ncr 6 january tdc received not confirmed reports from wsp for concrete casting part and mineral and mineral to slab detail of ncr is what i told you in the detail from ncr proposed corrective action from the consultant engineer in 72 hours he need the compressive strength core cutting test and torsional test if not satisfactory so the concrete will be demolished document with code c the following documents are complying with comments and shall be resubmit after the resatisfaction of uh, rectification of comments shop drawing wir wir and wir now what was my response for his comments and his suggestion compressive strength core cutting test as per project specification this is a specification reference number that compressive test of reinforcement con cement concrete should be 35 mp after 28 days we for concrete as per project specification all the details of slump test temperature test and cylinder test will be provided to the wsp engineer as per proposed corrective action consultant engineer a core cutting test to check the compressive strength of the casted concrete on its fourth day so how it's possible to give the required strength in this duration 
to check the compressive strength of the calcium kit we already did the cylinder specimen test and we have to wait after 28 days if after 28 days we didn't get the required compressive strength then we have to go for the core cutting test to check the strength of casted slab and beams torsional test this was the second test who suggested as per the ncr as per astm a938 the torsion or twisting test shall be done for metallic wire or steel to check its twisting or torsional shear stress maximum torque or breaking angle also we have no detail in kks specification this is a specification reference number for such a test the mentioned test is not applicable to the costed concrete if this test is applicable then please provide details with reference of project specification or international standards tdc response to the first response was for the two tests now my response for the documents which he gave us in the reference for the ncr shop drawing which was could see and rejected the amount the above mentioned shop drawing are submitted to consider for modification rcc walls w1 and w2 and we complete steel installation and then four concrete pole slab and be with the approved shop drawings these are the shop drawings which is approved already for the beam and slab which he issued in cr how shop drawing several which is rejected can affect the slab and beam steel installation or concrete casting wr with kursi the wr which he reject the past coming and wr are there the shop drawing is rejected which need to be adjusted and resubmit for new version uh, new version and the work is not executed as per drawing number so already i discussed it with the that this shop drawing is submitted for modification in wall 1 and wall 2 rcc wall and we completed our as per approved shop drawing for slab and beam so if there is no reason to reject the beam and slab steel the second comment is that steel is rusted maybe there were some steel rusted but that was not too much that can affect the steel quality because we already covered the steel so for that i attach a picture that we already covered the steel from a rain at that then there was no rust on the steel before pouring concrete all the levels were marked by surveyor and clean properly with air compression conduits for all the existing cables were installed properly for the irrigation system we will make coring in the upstand so this was my response to his ncr after that he suggests this from his side but he was in the consultant so we have to do this after that after my response he give his response that the contractor proposed action is rejected he reject my response so you are required to check and verify the below recommended corrective action with approved third party the corrective action will be in two step as below documents and record approval contractor should provide us by the action plan date for a submission of related which are mentioned in the below table shop drawing method statement for uh, rcc which is already approved and work inspection request for all related work to the uh, slab concrete placement concrete contractor this was the positive from the consultant corrective action that we have to do in two steps to close the ncr first step we have to close all these documents and provide all these documents is approved after that what we will do concrete the, the testings contractor has been Place concrete without any approval for related documents, which is mentioned in point number A, and without any approval for the condition of reinforcement and form work, which is considered a critical violation for the project specification division cast and place clause 3.9c. Contractor shall not be placed until the condition of the reinforcement, other embedded items, and form work has been inspected and approved by the engineer. I don't know why he added this. Uh, sentences in the the corrective action from his side because either he inspected and he gave us a verbal uh, permission but i will advise you all the engineers that never take any verbal permission from the consultant always take in whatsapp voice in the written form something like that so you will be not in trouble like me 
which required from, uh, from him side to implement the project specification division cost and plus concrete clause number 3.18d the contractor expenses required is on hardened concrete so now he proposed to correct action documentation approval and after that test clause number quality control test on hardened number of course like co compressive and concrete cover this is a one test to take cores and do the compressive strength or cylinder or crushing stress uh, strength test in the laboratory one test second test was to check the concrete cover third test to check the absorption permeability test salt content test impact hammer test and the last test was ultrasonic pulse velocity test by stm c592 decrease the number of cores especially in beam and middle of slab split tension test as per stm c49 attach with the concrete delivery tickets concrete follow-up sheet and all field and lab test report as per itp these all tests he proposed for the concrete after the concrete test he proposed these tests for the reinforcement half self potential test to verify corrosion of steel reinforcement tensile testing of steel reinforce uh, reinforcing bar after co this corrective action from his side as i discussed it with our project manager and we accept that all proposed tests from consultant for form and result are attached so we did all these tests and then attach all the results as per his requirements like this was the sorry this was the sharp drawings approval sorry for the There are the WR which he gave us. Now let's go to the test results. You can see now this is the test results. The test result I will show you. But now here I make this GCO test result for terminal 2 slab and beam. Consultant gave us NCR and casting concrete for slab and beam at terminal 2 without approval. To close the NCR, they proposed some quality tests for concreting and steel. Following are the results and detail of the test performed at GCO lab. Compressive strength test result 31.8 MPA. Specs value is 29.8 MPA. Comply with the ACI and section of the specification. Half cell test minus 200 initial stage corrosion not make place. So there is no corrosion in the concrete. As this is the international course to comply and also here in the specs tensile strength and yield strength for the steel average 10,000 MPA and average 8,000 MPA this is the specs value international codes specs section value concrete cover test 46.6 mm as per approved drawing 40 mm comply with ACI 301 section 0330 class 3.6-1 Absorption test 1.6 percent as per specs to allowable till 2 percent comply with British standards section of specification. Salt content test chloride 0.018, sulfate 0.118, chloride 0.15 by weight of dry cement, sulfates 3 percent by weight of dry cement comply with British standards. And this is the section for the this is section for the specification so we did all these tests and we get the required strengths and all the result was as per international standards you can see here and also as per specification of the project so after that i attach all these test results to the ncr you can see all these other test results in the ncr and after that we close the NCR. Now I will show you how he closed the NCR.
so guys here say if the proposal are acceptable and the remedial because we accept all his tests so then he accept the pro ex corrective action plan now provisional acceptance corrective action are proposed is complete inspected by engineer Haysam. he gives ncr a corrective action has been inspected verified so this is the pmc and close out here he closed the ncr close out this is the close out of the ncr like what are the general way to close the ncr this is the part of ncr which the consultant will give the detail about ncr here you have to write your proposed corrective action here they will write the proposed corrective action accepted or rejected if they accept it then you will go ahead for the corrective action and when you complete the corrective action so there they will check and inspect your corrective action if it's okay then here they will close your ncr so guys thank you so much for watching the video if you have any question about this video you can ask in the comment section and if you have any suggestion you can also comment it in the comment section subscribe to youtube channel like the video and share it with your friend thank you so much